What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Pork Chop here, and I'm coming at you with another update with Pork Chop. So, oh, hold on a second. Let me plug this bitch in. Hold on. There we go. It has enough battery, but you know, just in case. Um, hope you guys are going to have, I say this every Friday, and I mean it from the heart of my bottom and the bottom of my heart. I hope you guys are going to have a badass weekend, and I hope you guys had a great week and everything worked out like you wanted it to. You got every project done that you wanted to. I just wish and hope nothing but positive things to happen to the piglets because you guys are awesome. Hopefully you got that little puplet that you wanted and everything is A-OK. -okay. Yeah, it's weird. I'm not wearing a hat today. Uh, I actually did something with my hair until the 50 mile an hour wind decided to uh, do something else with it. So it's weird. I feel out of place right now that I can actually like fill my hair. Anyway, so you guys know the gist of what I do. You know, I talk a little personal stuff. I talk about the channel and I talk about, you know, what's been going on. First of all, RIP to uh, the prince and uh, um, I guess the royal family. Oh my gosh, that looks terrible, y'all. There we go. Kind of fixed it, I guess. What the heck is this? Just got this just random ray of sunshine while I'm driving. It's fantastic. Oh my gosh, that's atrocious. Okay, no, it's just gonna come and go, guys. Sorry. Um, but anyway, so RIP to the Prince in the UK, the royal family. Uh, RIP to uh, DMX. Uh, they always say that celebrity deaths come in threes, so I wonder who the hell is gonna be next. Uh, I just cross my fingers that it's nobody and kiss or anybody and any of the other uh, rock groups I listen to or Betty White. Anytime that we have like the celebrity deaths that come in threes, I'm just like, oh my God, somebody check on Betty White, keep her under lock and key, you know, give her whatever she needs to survive the day or survive the year. She survived 2020, so if she could survive that, she can survive anything. So that was really sad to hear about uh, DMX. Hold on, let me see if I can fix it like that. See if that worked. Anyway, DMX definitely dying was kind of, I was like, oh my gosh. Because I know that he'd been hospitalized for a hot minute. So I was like, oh, I, ho I was hoping it was like Dr. Dre where he's hospitalized, but he recovers and he gets to go home and, you know, live another 30 years. Because he was only 50 and that sucks. But anyway, so RIP to those two legends. Um, I woke up this morning. I knew this was going to happen for a few days. Um, but Black Veil Brides released a new single this morning, uh, Fields of Bone, which is, I think, the second to last track, or it's like at the bottom, I don't know, I, I saw the track listing today for their new album coming out in June called Phantom Tomorrow. God, June is going to be badass, guys. We have the June Vlog Challenge from yours truly, then on top of that, Rick and Morty Season 5 starts in June, and Black Veil Brides is releasing a new album in June, so I'm really, really looking forward to June this year. Definitely looking forward to June. Um, but uh, yeah, Fields of Bone, the music video and the single dropped today, and also uh, the music video was directed by Andy Beersack, the lead singer of the band. And it was actually pretty cool. This album is a concept album. Uh, for those of you that don't know what the uh, album is going to be about, I'm going to give you all a little, little lesson of what uh, they've exposed about the album. And the album is pretty much a society that uh, if you sin, you are cast out of the of the uh, of society. Society casts you out, and when they cast you out you're given a symbol of a scarlet cross to symbolize that you are a sinner, that you are an outcast, that you're you're banished. And so like this is a concept album that that takes place in that universe and there's a superhero uh, Batman-esque person that comes out uh, and I forget his name um, but he's like the savior. Uh, he, he pretty much uh, protects the outcasts and uh, it, it's really freaking cool. And uh, so there's like, you know, a good versus evil thing. It, it's very, because the, the two music videos that I've watched are very, res uh, they, they resemble Batman and the Joker, like to a T. Like the first album is this girl walking down the street and she gets cornered by these two thugs and she's about to get killed. 
and then the savior comes and he he wears a, a bird uh, bird feathers and a hat and he wears a mask and uh, he uh, saves her at the last minute we assume the music video kind of ends on a cliffhanger and then this new one is uh, I guess the hero is uh, infiltrating the uh, villains hideout and uh, I mean I'm not gonna spoil it but he gets shot and uh, it's a really cool music video you guys need to go watch it so the first one you need to watch is Scarlet Cross and the second video you need to watch is Fields of Bone um, those are the two singles and uh, I like Scarlet Cross more than I like Field, Fields of Bone, but it's still, it's Black Veil Brides, so it, it, but Black Veil Brides is like Ghost and Kiss. They could release a, a 30 second track of Gene Simmons burping and farting, and I could be like, this is the best Kiss song ever! Or, you know, Tobias Forge, you know, ordering, a, you know, a McDouble at a McDonald's, and he can just release that, I'd be like, this is the best Ghost track I've ever fucking listened to. Uh, Andy Beersack could recite, you know, the periodic table, and I could be like, yeah, 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 science! <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mr. White! Yes, science! You know, and so, like, that's just how I am. I'm just, a, I'm just a, a, a if, if I'm a fan of your material, it takes a lot to cast me away from your material. But anyway, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, the Phantom Tomorrow, um, that you could pre-order it right now on their website, thephantomtomorrow.com, or I think it's just phantomtomorrow.com. I'm thinking about buying two copies of this this that's physical CD. Uh, it's twelve dollars. I'm thinking about buying two, and I'm gonna buy one. And the second one, I think I'm gonna do for a contest for the June vlog challenge. So, if you like Black Veil Brides. Um, homework question number one would you be interested in that CD giveaway I know it's a CD I know you can go on Spotify and you can you know download it which I'm gonna do that as well but since I'm such a, a uh, like a classic rock fan um, growing up listening to Kiss and ACDC and, and Aerosmith and Autograph and Queen and all these badass bands um, I was always kind of under the impression that if you gave a shit about the music, you go out and buy a physical copy of their material, whether it be a vinyl or CD or whatever. And then I, I got Spotify, which I pay for every month, but I just, sometimes I just, I just love to have that physical copy in my hand. Like for example, uh, Blackville Brides, their last album, they did Veil, they actually had for like 20 bucks, you can, you pre-order it and they autographed the cover. So I have an autographed cover of Veil. Now, it's an album that it, when it came out, I was like, eh. Because I can kind of tell that it was like, there's a lot of songs that were talking about, oh, the end, or, you know, this is where it ends, or the last one, or, um, you know, or 15 minutes or up, you know, stuff like that. Like, it was just kind of like, holy shit, this better not be their last album. Like, I was actually listening to it with Chris. And, uh, like, the, the, the opening track... Uh, music track, uh, not counting the intro track, which I think Black Veil Brides is notorious for having on most of their albums, um, except for, I think, uh, Set the World on Fire. But uh, they always have like an opening track, kind of like an introduction to the album. They always have like an ending, uh, an outro to the album. Um, but like the first song was uh, the last one, and the lyrics were, you know, talking about, you know, uh, standing on our stage, bleeding out our youth, you know, talking about, you know, just, it's over. I swear this time it's going to be the last one. It's going to be the last one. Um, I'm standing proud, the underground, the, the, sorry, the legion of the, it's just like, and then their last track is, uh, this is where it ends. And apparently I was reading an uh, interview with Andy Beersack, uh, and he said that he actually, when the album was released, he, um, I'm sorry, there's a wreck or something going on up here. There's something going on up here. That's crazy. Um, but like when the album was released, um, he had his, his, uh, his, uh, parents listen to it. And he said that himself and then also his parents kind of, they broke down and cried because he thought it was the end of Black Bill Brides. Uh, he thought it was over because, um, things, the tensions in the band were, were not great. Uh, they were actually terrible um, with uh, Andy and uh, Ashley. Um, Ashley was 
kind of the uh, the the piece of shit of the group. Uh, we later find out, and uh, you know he's you know accused of all these sexual accusations and everything. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to get out of here. There's a wreck ahead of me, and there's like nobody like letting me get over. So this is fantastic. Um, so yeah, and then I guess they finally decided to part ways with a uh, Ashley. And uh, they got Lonnie, which is from Andy's solo band, and they're just like, oh, well, he, he's a badass bass player. We'll just let him be in the, in the band, which is kind of cool because he kind of reminded me of Eric Singer, which was uh, like a hired gun. But not only was he a hired gun, he was a, a fan of the band. And so, oh, shit, it's a three-car three car pile up. There's like no damage on those cars. And they're all like inspecting it, looking at it, like, what did you do? There's like nothing over there. But anyway, so uh, like Eric Singer for Kiss was a huge Kiss fan. And now he's in the lineup. Speaking of which, he's on my shirt. He's right over here. He's in the Catman makeup now. Get over it. And uh, so that's kind of how it is with Lonnie. Lonnie was a huge Blackville Brides fan. Actually has a Blackville Brides tattoo. And now he's the bass player for Blackville Brides. Just kind of like, that's crazy. Like Eric Singer and Tommy Thayer are both at Kiss. So Tommy's over here and Eric's over here. Um, they're both fans of the band, and they eventually became members of the band. So I always thought that was kind of cool. Uh, but anyway, so enough about Blackville Brides. Uh, leading into homework question number two. There are so many projects that I have lined up for this channel, guys. It is ridiculous. Um, might be just wasting my breath. Might just be blowing s some hot air. It doesn't matter. I'm still excited about the content. Um, not just for this year, but for next year. But I do have some... Uh, some video ideas that uh, one of them resurfaced that uh, I just thought about while I was driving down the street at work today. Um, I drove past the street and I was gonna have uh, last Halloween, but you know, my dad died and you know, just COVID and everything. I was just like, whatever, I'm not even gonna bother with it. Um, and I was gonna have it the year before, but I was too lazy the year before, so I had no excuse for 2019. 2020, my uh, my pretty much my last fourth of the year was shot because my dad died in September so I was just like kind of focusing on that focusing on my family you know taking care of that and um anyway so I was going to tell a scary story it's going to be out around Halloween um of the time that I felt like my life was legitimately in danger when I was uh, delivering pizzas for Pizza Planet um so I was going to release a uh kind of the way that I kind of want to do it is kind of like a creepy pasta esque storytelling, kind of, you know, scary, kind of you know, true crime sounding. Like, it just, I don't know. So, homework question number two Would you guys be interested in hearing that story around Halloween? Let me know down below. I might release it probably the week of Halloween, um, right smack dab, not in the middle, but towards the end of uh, the Saw playthrough that I'm going to do this fall. Um, and so I'm really uh, interested in your guys' interest in that. So I'll make a poll and I'll do homework question number two. And uh, for those of you that do both of them, then fantastic. I appreciate y'all wholeheartedly. Um, some polls did expire this week. And I thank everybody that uh, participated, participated in them. Um, one was the, uh, actually I think as of yesterday, yep. The uh, Dallas Aggies logo has been voted on and you guys almost unanimously I only had like two people on Facebook and on YouTube total that uh, liked the uh, uh, the blue Aggies logo Texas A&M logo and the rest of y'all loved the maroon uh, Dallas Cowboys star so the maroon Dallas Cowboys star is gonna be the new logo of the Dallas Aggies this fall man this fall is gonna be jam-packed guys um, kind of uh, making up for lost times I guess last year um, you have the Toronto Huskies hashtag Hal. So the uh, key word here for this video is hashtag Hal, just because I feel like it. Um, but you have the Toronto Huskies, you have the Dallas Aggies, you have the Saw playthrough, and then you're going to have the uh, scary story if you guys would like that. So there you go. Fall is going to be litty titty, as the kids say. I don't even think anybody says that. But anyway. Um, so really excited about that. Um, new food review went live yesterday. I uh, tried the pimento bacon cheeseburger from Brahms. Um, so homework question number three, have you seen it? 
have you commented on it have you liked it have you shared it whatever if you could do all those I would greatly appreciate it you guys are awesome um, and be looking forward of course I've already filmed uh, next week's food review already this week so look for that next week hope you guys are gonna enjoy that as well um, and uh, so I'm still looking for ideas for I gotta look through my list for uh, next week's food review that I'm gonna record for two weeks from now um, I, I usually try to stay a week ahead of that shit so so far so good I've been doing it since the last week of January and I've released the food review every single Thursday since the last weekend of January so I'm very proud of that I'm actually you know consistency is one thing that I lack but it's something that I absolutely would love to have more of so hopefully that is something that I can you know bring to you guys so there you go um, also another poll that expired I believe was the uh, the three installments a week of GTA 3 or 2 you guys voted for 3 so thank you all for that and of course there are going to be more polls to come I already have a lot of them in the queue and of course you know still look forward to seeing Grand Theft Auto 3 and all that stuff but anyway guys I'm going to get out of here thank y'all so much once again for dropping by and always remember my little piglets Colin Portshop loves y'all the most so y'all take it easy guys and I'll see y'all next time bye guys